welcome back to the people expert today i'll be teaching you a super cool tutorial so i like to make veggies as soon as i as soon as i design them but first i have a special announcement so if you weren't watching me feel free to make sure you're subscribed because it's 93 percent of you are not subscribed and well over 93 percent saying you're not subscribed almost 95 so if you hit if we hit 30 subscribers by october wait one sec um if we hit um 30 subscribers by october 10th i'll i'll show you a tutorial for my flying triceratops they designed a couple months ago but here's a quick look at it feel free to figure it out if you can but it has quite a few interesting forms that i think you'll like so make sure to subscribe okay so now back to, to the real video so, today I'll be teaching you how to make a, a super cool fidget. It's an origami poppet. But it may look like a four, four, a four, only four poppets, but as you know, not probably don't know, as you probably can tell, it's not going to pop this whole big thing because it just doesn't work that way on the bottom. So, instead, each corner is a poppet. So, you pop it back and forth, 16 poppets. And you can make this with vigor like I will in the video, but it's pretty simple. But make sure if you're a beginner, do not try this. It'll just give you more stress than the poppet will ever relieve. So, I recommend having each in my experience. I have got somewhat frustrated trying to make this, and the best part, watch this, it collapses. So, once it collapses, it's completely portable. So, you can bring it into a backpack, put it in your folder, sneak it to school, just get in. I'd never do that, but I'm pretty sure most schools would allow it. And you just squash it down. And we have a completely, well, almost one sec. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to come right back up. We have a completely flat poppet. So, want to learn to hold it? Well, let's do this. So, you're, so for this poppet, I use a 16 by 16 grid. And if you want a sick of you, wait, one second, let me do the math. Um, if you want, um, a, a one wait let me just make sure i did it right um a 64 um the a 64 poppet or eight by eight make sure oh, that's a you want 64 by 64 grid but um i'm gonna for this for the purpose of the tutorial i'm gonna make a simpler one which is 32 by 32 just like this one which is similar to my sounds actually so Start by folding in half. I'm going to fold the grid skip until whenever I'm done. So fold in half, unfold, pull this edge to the middle grease. I'll be using a 35 by 35 centimeter sheet of Kami I got from Amazon Tortaro's Origami Studio. Feel free to go check that out. It's the best origami paper Kami you'll ever get, trust me. Anyways, so now. We're gonna, um, once we select this, this is a bit, no, it's not even bright enough. Okay, so now we're gonna fold this edge up to here. And this edge up to here. Sorry, if you want, I'm actually gonna make a 64 by 64 grid. Um, which will make up, which you, will make you use 256 poppets, which seems crazy, right? I think you're gonna like it. So we have one sixteenth. Now, turn to the side and repeat. So, fold to the edge on the crease, fold to the crease. I mean, unfold. Um, you know what I mean, right? Okay, so now, fold this side, edge. Do, basically, do the same thing. It's pretty simple. And now we're going to do the same thing over here because we already folded in half. Sorry, the other one took a 16 by 16 grid. I got a bit confused. Sorry about that, guys. Holy forgive me. And BB. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fold to here. And 
fold again. This makes her 60 fourths. We're gonna do that all the way up. If you want to eat quicker way to do it, feel free to feel for I'll tell you one sec. There's a clear way to do it though. Which I think you'll find a bit better. You're actually gonna go along the existing crease and fold it twice. Which may be less accurate, but it's pretty close, and I think it's worth it. Worth saving like twice the time. Well, um, I I can tell you, I think a normal 64 by 64 grid with just the, the two the two layers over two folds overlapping would take like forever, maybe over an hour. This one takes much less time. Trust me, less than half an hour. go check out my um, latest video on crochet 101. Hopefully, it's a crochet for beginners, how to get started. I showed it the best I could, and if you are looking, if you like origami and you want another fun butter skill, go check out that channel. I think you'll really like it. Okay, so now we're to 90 degrees and repeat. Trust me, this is gonna take a while, but it might be like a three hour tutorial, but um, it's gonna be worth it, trust me. And I added a few extra steps in this one that we don't need to do for the tutorial, tutorial, tutorial which will really be nice. I know, I mentioned it in the beginning, but um, um, I know you guys have probably heard of the online huge poppet trend. It's a huge thing, and uh, Orgons have, have been trying to recreate it. The only problem is either they're not really looking like poppets, or they are multi taking multiple pieces of paper and glue or tape, which I just don't like. So this is this version I especially designed to um, make sure that it suits all of your needs. Whether you travel a lot and you have a lot of stress, it's portable. If you have a lot of stress in general, then you can just use it for um some. You can easily use it for um something where, where for well, let's see everything. For stress, you can kind of flatten it and unflatten it. You can make it 3D. You can pop it. You can carry it around in your backpack. It goes everywhere. Even if it's in a folder, which I'll show you, which I'll show you at the end. But just to show the difference. This is a normal poppet that I have in my room. Unfortunately, this poppet is only one, two, three, eight, um, wait, 14, 28 pops, or 28 bubbles. As much as it feels nice, it's not gonna have nearly as many bubbles as this super simple one. This one, you, maybe this one has a few less, 16 to 28, not much, but um, um, this one, um, you might have noticed, it's huge, really strong, ugh, it's not portable at all. This one, it's completely flat, and works just as well. The thing is, it might take some time to make it, like I said. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay, so now, you're going to keep, your, back to, like I said, back to the tutorial. This will actually might be one of my long tutorials yet yeah, because this is gonna take a whole lot of time, trust me. But it's gonna be well worth it. Well worth our effort. Oh, you have no clue. Actually, 
actually it's gonna be more than two hundred fifty. It's now that I think about it, actually, because there's the two thing, the two like, grid scores at the end. That's gonna be more since they're not just a bunch of weird pieces of paper. Somehow it just doesn't physically work. So um, that's gonna be even cooler. Over two hundred fifty. That's crazy. I can tell you, you cannot buy this many bubbles on the day at the store. Yeah, this one he just takes like maybe two, one to three hours to hold. That's shorter than the ancient dragon. And um and um that's basically it. But I'm gonna keep on going. Okay, unfold. And rotate 90 degrees. Now we're gonna do that same thing. Except we don't do the pre. Pre whatever. The pre folds. Pre freezing. Pre grid. Who knows what it's called. Guess I made it up. LOL. Oh, well. So remember guys, I'll be monitoring the comments. So um even though it has inappropriate comments turned off, um I hope that um I, I will still, if I'll still be looking for comments that leak through, because if I do see any, I will, I will try to, I'll delete them instantly, whether they're good or not, if they have cursed into the supposed to be family friendly channel, if you, if I told you many times, if you curse on, on a, in, in, uh, um, in, uh, what's it called, um, in a comment, whether it's like, whether you like me or not, I'm deleting, whether you like it or not, or like me or not, I'm deleting it. Sorry, earring. So yeah, sorry about that guys. I just want to make sure that people know. Any inappropriate comments, anyone trying to scam people, people trying to try I mean I'm fine with people saying like how many subs can I get from this comment? It's current, one thousand or something. Um, that's fine with me. The thing is, anything inappropriate, anything with like bad um weird stuff and inappropriate stuff or even just simple expressions that are inappropriate. Um, then I just don't think that's okay. I still have plenty of people who are young watching my channel. I know that. So, um, yeah, I have, I know some people who are young that watch my channel. So, that's because, that's basically it. So, we're, oh, about that. So, we're gonna keep on going. I can tell you, the trickiest part comes next. Well, next after the next step, I should say. Yeah, like I said, as most of my malls are kind of like the Dragon Scales Tessellation, this one is not that hard. It's more time consuming, like really time consuming. Trust me, it's not fun. Not only really not fun, but you get the point. Jeremy Schaefer for inspiring me to, um, even though he didn't know he actually did this, but he inspired me to design one of these. He designed a pretty cool one, but to be honest, it wasn't perfect. I liked how it was simple, but at the same time, it wasn't exactly that practical, and it didn't really look that great, but otherwise, it really worked well. I could have folded it, but honestly, I wanted to work on my own, but I think it was an amazing job. Thank you, Jeremy. That looks, that was amazing. Anyways, so he got me into thinking, well, if he can make one, so can I, and that ended up making my video. So, um, let's keep going. We're almost on the grid eight. Woo. Now, 
I have a question for you guys in the comments. If you could, if you want me, what do you want me to design next? If it, it could be anything, as long as it's appropriate. It can't be like a curse word or on like, uh, you get it. It can't be, and it can't be like a type of meat or egg any, any either. I'm vegan and I don't, and as much as I don't mind people eating that stuff, I just don't feel like holding that. So anything, it could be a vegetable. If you wanted me to make food, you get it. But no scrambled eggs or something. Anyways, so the Howard grid's on. Woohoo! Now we're gonna take this and fold and on, fold it over to the side you want the the poppets to be on. So the color you want, basically. Now, guys, take a deep breath. This is gonna take a whole lot of patience. Let's first count. Let me do the math. So six times um, what is equal to six? Two on each side. So that means we have uh, 400 poppets. That is crazy, guys. I did the math in my head, yeah. Yeah, when um when the paper spur is not doing origami, I'm doing complex math. Even though I can tell you addition and multiplication are quite simple and easy, in my opinion. I'm more into calculus and different on two equations, and multiplication always find multiplication super boring. But that's not the point in the video. Some of you might make a math channel, but that's basically that's uh, I'll cross that bridge. I'll cross that road when I get there. When we get there. we go we're gonna keep on folding just keep folding folding and folding just keep folding 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 just you know don't make your grid too small i recommend using a much bigger square if you want a actually good poppet that would won't take up too little space but to each zone, right? I like making mine smaller, that way it looks a bit more better, a bit better, you know? But, um, and it's easier, but if you want like a 18 meter by 18 meter square, go ahead and do so. Even though it probably is impossible for now, unless you have like an insane, I mean insane amount of tissue paper. You can make double tissue, that is. Please, guys. I know I've been talking a lot randomly in this video, but I have a lot of good points to make and quite a few announcements. So, I've heard a lot about cyberbullying lately, and I hate it. I actually, that's the one thing I hate. But the best, basically, it. Um, well, maybe besides bananas, I'm huge. I have a huge terror. I'm terrified of bananas. Don't ask me why. I have no clue. But they're they're awful. But the point is, cyberbullying. It's the worst type of bullying. Not not because it's not only because it makes you feel bad, but because um it um is, but because it is it no you can't really tell someone about it because they're anonymous person who did it. So you have no clue where they are. You have no clue what their email address is or anything. So if you are um so help me so make sure um make sure to make sure. It's, Make sure that you know to be safe, but at the same time be nice on the internet. And it will definitely take its. It will definitely um help you within time. And help me make the world or world in a better place through origami. So, I'm not sure I told you. You're basically going to be making um, these little cool um, 
rectangle pleats things. It's hard to explain, but basically, I, I know I don't have a great camera. It may look, look like blue, but it's actually purple. It's a pretty cool color. Oh, pretty cool, cool color, sorry. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be a mountain pole two away from what we want. Now one thing I know, excuse me, is it doesn't have to be perfectly on the edge. I doesn't, in fact, I don't want it to be perfectly on the edge. What you want it to do is actually for it to, um, one sec. Sorry if I'm bringing it out of view. It's hard to see, I just have to check some things. Here we go. We're done for this side. <laughs> Sorry about that. <sighs> we're all, we're all, we're done for this side at least. Now we're gonna keep on going to, to the other side. Check the time. I have plenty of time until dinner. It's about 23 p.m. Monday, July, Monday, July 19th. Oh, I gotta work on my speech. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat in the other direction. Similar to my dragon skills, except instead, instead, we're instead of doing the um, all in one direction, we're doing the two together in the in opposite directions of each other. So let's keep on going. Keep on going. So remember, count one, two, three, four, and take the fourth one. Make it a mountain fold and put it next, make a value fold on the next crease that's closest to you. Then you're going to make a mountain fold on the crease that's, that's two cre grid, grid lines away from the mountain fold you just made. And repeat except you're folding it in the direction away from you. I meant to explain this earlier, but basically you're going to make these squares, and each of these squares has four poppets, for each of the, one for each of the corners. Now, let's keep on going. Woohoo! And, we're going to 
repeat that all the way down. So what I'd recommend is taking this a few rows at a time. So now what we're gonna do, since we did a couple rows, is we're gonna lock them in place, which is pretty simple actually. We're just gonna collapse them like normal dragon scales, except we have all four sides to do. And you might wanna remember this because we have, I have a tactics tutorial coming up soon that will use these exact steps. I'm going to take in the same by more Let me zoom in a decent amount so you can see what I'm doing. Oops, let me change move the cord of the camera. try to be able to see what I'm doing. So basically I turned this into a square. A tiny square. But now it's some more 3D and it's gonna look like a button. You may want to press it but I wouldn't recommend it just squash it down. Man. Come on. Like I said, this will take an insane amount of time. That should be a good example. Now, like I said, I might, I'm not sure I told you, I'm gonna end this tutorial a bit early because um, I am hungry for dinner and um, I can eat a snack and also, I don't feel like we can part two because I'm so close. I'm just going to show you the rest of it, basically. In long time, anyways. But, actually, no. This is the end of part one. And, um, I, and, um, uh, if you want a part two, 
of course, I'll make it anyways, but make sure to subscribe and like the video. Have a great day, and to see how, to, how this turn, these tiny squares turn into these poppets. Make sure to subscribe and um, like the video, and see you soon. Have a great day, and see you in part two. Bye.